Hello and welcome back to the iHeat YouTube channel. Today we're talking about hybrid systems and if they're still worth the hype and the money in 2024. We recently installed one last week in a lovely home in Middlesbrough. It was a horrific three hour drive, but the install went silky smooth. Let's get it installed. For those who don't know, a hybrid system is made up of a combi boiler which goes inside the property and an external air source heat pump. The model we installed on Friday was also from Alpha and it was a beautifully clean unit which goes on the side of the property and you can barely notice it. They're even smaller than aircon units, which is crazy to imagine. The combi itself is also very efficient, so when it is using gas, it is saving you money every day. The main benefit of a hybrid system is it knows the energy tariffs inside your property and picks what type of fuel to use to heat your home. At the moment, you will be looking at majority of gas, but as electricity prices goes down and gas prices increase, it will slowly incorporate that air source heat pump outside, which uses electric. However, with the full introduction of heat pumps into the UK, is it still worth it in 2024? Sadly, there are no grants available for hybrid systems anymore. I'm pretty sure there was one in Scotland when they first came out, but they have since deceased for the new rise in full-size heat pumps. However, if you don't get the full grant from the government, it doesn't cover the full installation cost of a heat pump, you are probably better off buying a hybrid or just a normal gas boiler, as many will say in other videos. The hybrid acts as a midpoint between trying to be sustainable and be eco-friendly with the heat pump, but also be a bit smart and aware of the current situation with sticking with gas. In an ideal world, everyone would have a heat pump on the side of their house and still keep their old gas boiler for if it ever goes south or anything goes wrong electronically. Another benefit of having a hybrid system over a heat pump is that there is no need for any storage cylinders inside the property. One big thing that you do have to consider when getting a heat pump is where you're gonna put that massive cylinder inside your home. Luckily, a job we did a few days ago was inside a garage. There was plenty of space for a cylinder, but not every home has a garage and not everyone wants to sacrifice that space where they should really be putting a car. The cylinder space normally needed for a heat pump is around two meters by one meter by one meter, which most common homes these days just do not have. By using a hybrid system you only use a combi boiler for your hot water which means it goes into your cupboard where a normal combi sits and you don't even notice it's there and as mentioned previously these units outside your property have got very very small so they look like air conditioning units on the side of your property and they're also very quiet too the new models from alpha especially are super quiet even when we installed it and turned it on we weren't even sure if it was working as it wasn't making a sound these things are super quiet and if you have any neighbors that are a bit annoying don't really like you making a lot of noise these will not get on their nerves at all Another quite intelligent point I thought of when doing the research for this video is that it actually extends the life of your boiler. Combi boilers are now estimated to survive around 10 to 15 years, and this is why your warranty is around the same amount of time. However, if you're using an electronic heat pump on the side of your house for half the time it's in use, you're going to prolong its life a lot further. This means less likely to get repairs done to the boiler, having to replace it, any works doing to the boiler will be prolonged and delayed to the future. After all, we are trying to future-proof our houses in the first place. Also, a final mention to say I like the flexible options you have of mounting the unit outside. You can have a floor standing, a low hanging or even a high hanging unit on the side of your property. The different options allow you to have a bit more flexibility and decide where you want it to go. For those interested, check out the iHeat website as you can get a quote for a hybrid system today. The one we sell at the moment is from Alpha. They are a great team. They do great boilers and even better hybrid systems. So check them out on the website and get a quote today. What are your thoughts on hybrid systems? Let me know in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next video. This has been iHeat.